Okay, let me open this up to questions. If any of you have questions on Doc Savage or Pulse in general or safety books. Yes? Well, the one question I had was um, you were talking about royalties going to the family and stuff. How much, like, is a typical royalty now? Like, how much, like, do you sell the book for? How much do you make it? How much does the family get? Like, say, per book, if that makes it easier. Royalties tend to be in the 10% you know, range. So, like, say you sell a book for 10 bucks, then they get what? They get a buck? Well, no, I mean, the family, you know, the family would get half of what kind of nasty you know, and uh, you know, it's different from different books. I pay a, a smaller royalty, for example, on The Avenger, The Whisperer, and Nick Carter than I do on The Shadow and Doc, and that's largely, for one reason, I have digital files of text of all the Shadow and Doc novels, and while we proofread them, and while Joe Ross goes and compares, for, he does, I think, four read-throughs of each shadow novel. And he does, you know, a general one, then a specific one, and then his final one, I know, is a line-by-line, -line, paragraph for comparison, paragraph-by-paragraph comparison with the original poem, where occasionally it's found a couple of paragraphs have been deleted or, or something, or sometimes they're hiding behind an illustration, and that's where we catch that. But uh, I, I will say that I've talked to, you know, uh, the royalties were more back when uh, Nostalgia Venture was co-publishing them because they were also in Barnes & Noble and sales were up. I mean, my sales are fairly consistent. Uh, one of the problems with Barnes & Noble is from smaller publishers, they buy books at 50% of cover price and they return unsold books at 55% of cover price, even if the book has sat in its warehouse and never got out to a bookstore. So they make a 10%, you know, and that can be brutal on a smaller publisher when you, you know, what happened to Nostalgia Ventures a few years ago. And we had separate operations. I mean, I got a royalty from them, you know, and, and I published the books and I did all the editorial. But uh, what happened is that, and not just the pulp reprints, but their old time radio CD collection and such, is. Uh, the economic crisis hit, I don't know, about four or five, you know, five years ago. And Barnes and & Noble and Borders sent massive returns back because they wanted as much liquid cash available. Yeah. And in the case of Barnes & Noble, it was at 10% more than they paid for, for it. And uh, um, Nostalgia Ventures went, went bankrupt and actually their owner dropped out of a heart attack at age 60 uh, right at that time. So. Uh, yeah, our cutoff call. <laughs> cut <off. laughs> just say five o'clock is, you know, we're done. That's what so, so we got about 15 minutes or so. And we have to pack up the room and. Yeah, we got to start packing up the room and we'll move upstairs to our suites and. And are we going to go for dinner or? Yes, we're going to go up to 419 for dinner. So, so last chance to buy books. Uh, <laughs> yes. And, uh, and we've got a guest who joined us, uh, Jean. Yes. Yes. From Phoenix. Hi, Jean. From Scottsdale. Okay. And Jean, oh, we got your cards for you, and we can do that. Um, but I want to make sure you, you got a couple minutes to look yeah. through stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Before we start packing the again. Tell everyone to look around where they're at. Oh, uh, somebody I know phone. seems oh. to have misplaced her phone. Uh -oh. So oh, can I see it? I think I have it on vibrate, so it doesn't. Okay. Uh, it's just a white iPhone, white yeah. and pink iPhone, and I have it in my pocket. Well, I'm not working. Well, I'm not working.